How can a giant, intricate temple complex exist without the use of some sort of understanding of the undertaking they were attempting to achieve? For thousands of years, the ancients of India built glorious works of majesty dedicated to various gods, but why? For what purpose? This is a complicated question, you know. The stories of Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, and Krishna were very real to the ancient Hindus to such an extent that this particular period in Indian history is still worshipped by over 1 billion people worldwide. The gods of India were very real. The ancients in this region encountered these beings through the course of thousands of years in the very remote past and still celebrate this time through oral traditions and even the building of such places like the Brihadiswara temple, which is a stunning celebratory work of art dedicated to the immortal life of Lord Shiva. Wait till you hear this. As far as temples in India go, this is one of the standout examples of the visionary concept of a brilliant architectural artist who was inspired enough to dedicate a large portion of his life to such an undertaking. To the viewer today, this place is mesmerizing and each wall of art is screaming out a different story each time. Built within seven years, the construction achieved in this time frame involved moving and placing almost 50 tons of rock every day. The main Viamana Tower is soaring 216 feet high. It dominates the main quadrangle and sits above a 90-foot sided square. The tower is elaborately articulated with a raised structure and attached columns which are placed rhythmically covering every surface of the Viamana. Everything about the temple is grand. The Colossa at the top of the Viamana is a single rock that weighs 80 tons and a 20-ton monolithic Nandi. It was the first all-granite temple in India, weighing a stunning 130,000 tons altogether. There is not a granite quarry within 100 miles of the site, so the undertaking would have been of Herculean proportions. It is not clear how this was done. Emperor Raja Raja Kolan, who had the idea for this temple with the encounter of a divine being during a trip to Sri Lanka. While he was lucid in his dream time, he was apparently spoken to by Lord Shiva, who had told the emperor to build a great temple in his honor. This type of imaginative spurt of sudden realization is actually very consistent, not only throughout history, but also in the approach to understanding religious thinking concerning the very remote past. In itself, this linked Raja Raja Kolan to the gods and further established his right to rule as emperor. There are many mysterious things about this temple that stretch the imagination to breaking point regarding the construction of this place. Just how exactly did they lift this 80-ton granite block 216 foot to the top of the Via Mana? The theory may surprise you as to how this was done. A ramp was constructed, angled at 6 degrees, and huge wooden rollers to slide the granite from underneath and pulled by elephants and thousands of men but get this, the ramp would had to have been an incredible 18 miles long. Isn't that crazy? If this is true, this undertaking for one piece of granite is absolutely astonishing. Considering the Great Pyramid has thousands of rocks this size, is it really possible that this is how it was done? We think not. This theory is almost, we stress the word almost, impossible. It is clearly unknown how this was done and all we can do is speculate. Strange as it may seem, the shadow of this temple is also never cast upon the earth. This is a testament to the emperor who instructed his craftsmen that not only should this temple never fall down or be affected by earthquakes, but its shadow shall never fall to the earth either. This place is simply wonderful and any visitor to this place is left in absolute awe. The giant Viamana Tower itself is thought to represent a chariot or a flying machine of the gods. Described in sacred texts known as the Vedas, the Viamana came to the earth over 6,000 years ago. Reference to the ancient Viamana can be found in the Mahabharata, which is one of the two major epics of ancient India. It turned 1,000 years old in September 2010. To celebrate the 1,000th year of the grand structure, 
the state government and the town held many cultural events. It was to recall the 275th day of his 25th regal year when Raja Raja Kolan handed over a gold-plated Kalasam copper pot for the final construction to crown the Viamana. Today, the enormous structure stands proud and will continue to inspire. The secret surrounding the construction, the envisioning of the project, and the giant representation of an ancient flying machine sitting in plain sight will be the subject of much debate for centuries to come. The fact is, we don't know the answers, but in terms of lost history, well, just like we see at many places across the earth, the answers are literally staring right at us in the face. History can only be eradicated to a certain degree, but huge granite structures like this have stood the test of time to reach our view in modern times. It truly is like our ancestors are reaching through time to tell us something of major importance. Wouldn't you agree? Anyway, guys, what do you think of the big temple? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.